soon on multiple ways to teach fourth grade mathematics, and that will adhere to the common, new Common Core state standards. And my captain advisor was Rosalie Strong. Rosalie Strong. So my problem statement is that standards have switched uh, from the state standards that we have had for quite a while now to the new Common Core state standards, in which students must learn multiple ways to teach math and not just the standard algorithm that I think most of us have grown accustomed to. Um, and right now, resources are a bit limited. Uh, a lot of teachers have just been thrown into this and have been told that they need to create their own curriculum around these new Common Core state standards. There's not a lot of textbooks and everything out there, so they have to modify what they have in order to uh, adhere to these. Um, so for my solution, my goal is to give current and future teachers an instructional product that is easily accessible to adhere to common core state standards in order to fill the gap in teacher preparation for multiple ways to teach this math. So the beginning step that I took was you a 
brief overview of what you're going to be going through each steps, and I use um, four just general basics of mathematics using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And then I just have a basic overview of how you can navigate through my pages. So up top, you have an intro, an objective, examples, practice, summary, and on the right, you're able to navigate through the different addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division.
fourth grade teacher, so yeah, she yeah. has connections in there, so I was able to <laughs> give that to some of her other fellow teachers. And also, I've been working closely with Linda Dilger, um, and I've been working in her Math 308 and 309 courses, which are to develop understanding of creating these multiple sub, um, multiple ways of learning math. So I use some of her, I was able to use some of her students for some of my testing and evaluation data. So do you have any um, plans in mind <laughs> would be to expand it to all CSUMB classes um, that are um, these 308 and 309 classes, and it's available to Linda Dilger, so she can use my Captivate project if she wants to in her classroom. Um, and expand it also to other K-5 um, schools in the district or even out. If, if the, and just to ex expand my general project to more subjects. I mean, there's definitely a lot of information to have to go through, and there's so many different methods of teaching to have to go through those also.